Hey, Mike here from 28 Fish, and today we're making syrup from Manitoba maples. In mid-April, we decided we were going to try to tap four of our maple trees from our shelter belt on the south-facing side. So here's what we used for the tap or spire. Basically about three and a half to four feet up, we drilled a hole and use various things for experimentation, but this 3 8 water line seemed to work best. Cutting a notch in the bottom like that tended to collect the sap the best as well as it kind of flows from bottom up, of course. You just kind of wiggle it around until you get a good flow. And generally we'd put a hook here of some kind for the catch container. One of the other spires that I built was with a wood dowling. Initially I cut a notch along the top hoping that would allow for a passageway for the dripping. It didn't really help because it basically just plugged the hole in the tree. So then I split the dowel, as you can see it's kind of loose, and that actually allowed for the sap to come. So if you don't have water line, you could certainly use doweling. It worked just as well. Well here is probably why you want to do this when it's still freezing at night and just some daytime warming and some snow on the ground. As soon as you get a couple warm days, of course the bugs come out and they're going to be attracted to the sticky sweetness. I don't really want that in my maple syrup. But here's our bounty thus far. Got some straining to do. Initially we were going to use a propane stove to do the initial boil down, but we figured it would take too much propane. So I crafted this old watering barrel uh, with a little opening in the bottom so we can feed wood continuously. I got a stainless steel grate from a buddy of mine who works in a mine to put it on top and we can boil down the syrup that way and finish it off on the propane. So here's that stainless steel grate that I was telling you about. It's kind of concave. It's out of a potash mine but works awesome. Cook steaks right on there. So it's been about an hour and a half of a steady boil and we're almost at the halfway point. And uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a fight to keep the fire just hot enough so that it's boiling but not so hot that it's foaming over. I can start to smell maple syrup. This is really cool. Apparently once this becomes sort of an amber color, that's the time to really watch it and boil it down. It's about a 40 to 1 ratio. So with this 20, let's say we had 20 liters here, maybe not quite that much we're probably only gonna get about a half a liter of maple syrup, but it'll be worth it. I'm getting closer. Well, now it's kind of supper time. So we got the boil down. Uh, we used some uh, cheesecloth or a jelly strainer to uh, pour the last of the sap or nearup, I think they call it, near syrup. So we got basically a spaghetti jar full. We're at 106 degrees and it's just a frothing mess so hopefully we have something left there to eat. Well there we hit 107 so we'll see what it looks like. Okay so it's pretty thick so we're going to try it on the bigger funnel here uh, if it'll pour through and if not we'll just we're just going to put it 
straight into the other bottle. Yeah, it's barely flowing through there, so she is what she is, boys. Can't say I didn't get hot enough to kill any impurities, that's for sure. Well, that's not really working at all, so. Well, there you have it, about 300 milliliters of syrup. Okay, well, here's the strainings. It's sticky like maple syrup. So we're gonna give her a taste. <laughs> Smoky, sweet. Tastes like maple syrup. <laughs> it's awesome. You never think from them stinky maples when you burn them. They're just so gross. But this, yeah, this is good. Like, um, so yummy. I want to eat this uh, paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hey, boys. So here's the syrup that we made. Look at this. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Mommy's got a treat for you. Taste test. Okay, first. I'm going to just mine for no reason. Okay. Go for it, Max. Now I want to see what Luke says. <laughs> Does it taste like the syrup you guys have on your pancakes? No, it just tastes like honey. Tastes like honey to Luke? What does it taste like to you, Max? That's so honey syrup. Honey syrup? <laughs> there so, you go. Is it good? Thumbs up or thumbs down? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, worth my time then.